Right, here we go. At the little gate again. God, I always, this always reminds me of the summer when I'm here. And usually baking heat. It's only end of May, so it's not baking yet. Although you can get heat waves, of course. Lots of different tracks you can pick up here, by the way. <sighs> Watch out, there'll be loads of ticks about. Um, they fly in the air as well, so just because you're not in the bracken, it don't mean they won't get you. They hang from trees. Nasty little things. And you get limes, ticks. I've had limes. They caught it in time. Treated me very rapidly. But it doesn't mean you won't get it again, see? Yeah, this is beautiful, this walk, you know. Absolutely gorgeous, this place. And respect the highway code. That's it. I will be back, everyone. This is a lovely old track. You imagine the number of people that have done this walk over the millennia. Well, I suppose there's always been a track here, I'll put it that way. There's probably always been a track here. And we walk along here for 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll. We're going to go up the hill for it. Whereas um, you can also join the track I did a couple of weeks ago at the foot of the hill for it. But I'm not doing that one today because I did half of it not long ago when I was going into the Robert Warren and wandering about looking for the Happy Valley. Yes, that's... Uh, Yeah, so we've done, we've had some, some exploratory walking today. Always a little bit stressed, stressful and a bit of anxiety when you don't, you've never walked somewhere before. And sometimes it seems to go on and on. And you, get, you feel like more remote. And you wonder if you're going in the right direction or have you gone round in circles. I had to make some decisions because the signs disappeared. I had a bit of a map with me, which did come in handy, actually. But it didn't point out the tower building that I came across. And it, I didn't really explore the lookout place. That will have to be done on, on another occasion. Because um, it, it doesn't mean I always have to go all the way to Burrington when I do that walk another time. I can do the loop. And I can get back up onto the Dolbury Warren without having to go all the way to Burrington. Now it's always a bit bumpy, this path, what I remember. It's always a bit bumpy. There was a young couple, well they might not have been young. There was a couple with a dog earlier. They've disappeared now. And like I said, when you get to the end of this bumpy route, there's, there's a junction again. Now at this junction, I've often wondered where the route went. And I've got a feeling that links up with the lower walk somewhere. I reckon it does. But I'm not going to explore that today either. Um, I'd like to. If I had my own vehicle, I probably would go and have a little walk down it, just to see where it did come out. You know? But since they're churning an awful lot of the woodland up over there with big vehicles, um, I don't think it's worth going over there at the moment, where it's all disturbed and everything. But, yeah, I've often wondered where that went. We'll be, we'll be by that place soon. And, uh... Oh, look, look at that leaf there. You see that leaf? It's spread out like an umbrella, but flattened. 
making a large surface area to get as much light as it can to photosynthesize. It's amazing, isn't it? That's reaching out to the light there, as they all are, spreading their leaves. Right, I'm going to turn off again now, folks. I'll come back on when we're at the bottom. I'll do a little bit of videoing. The battery will start getting quite low soon. I should have brought the um, spare one out on a day like this. But we have to pick it up again another time. Yeah, I went there's a route over there I've been to and I got into a field. I do remember that, but I'm going to go this way because I'll see if there's any tracks emerging from these trees. Because I've got a feeling the, what's called the lookout, must be somewhere over that way, I run down there. So this is Sheila again, another small video on the 30th of May 2023. There's a big group of people behind me, and I hope they're not coming my way. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? I'm trying to keep the camera still, everyone. I'm sorry it's bumpy and jumpy and jerky. And swayy. I need to take some pictures of some flowers now. So here we are, going up into the Dubry Warren Hill Fort. Right, another video on the 30th of May, 2023. <sighs> it's been an exhilarating time. <sighs> Brilliant. This must be four, going on five hours now. I haven't really sat down, not really. I, do, I never do. I hardly ever sit down. You get, more well, like you get a tick bite. This is the butterfly area. Up here. There's a little, if you walk down there, you'll come up by the gate on the other path going up. I do like to vary these two routes that I do. Now, let's go and have a look briefly at this route. Because this is what I'm saying about ways around this wood. Now here's a route here, this is a butterfly walk. Now this might come out somewhere else. We're just going to go down a little way. It could have been, no I don't think it was this one I came down. We just go down a little way. That's the wood that's all fenced off in there. Very bleak looking isn't it? Dark. Very bleak looking. Yeah, what we do, we just go and have a look down here. I think there's a gate. If I remember, there might be a gate at the bottom. I've got time just to do a little bit of wandering. Yeah, this is, the, I have done this bit. This is the gate. And then there are, there were cows in here. I think, can I see a cow now? I'll just go down to the gate again. It is a pathway though. No, maybe they're not on a cow. Might not be any cows this time. Yeah, I remember this bit. I would have videoed this by the way as well. Look at the dark wood. Isn't it spooky? Isn't it a spooky wood this one? It's creepy. I still love you though, trees. I still love you. You can't help it if you've got to reach up and take all your green with you up there. We just go down here and just see if there's any signs. I know I've got to go back up again, but I'm not quite sure if there is a loop around that will bring me out at, at the fort end. I'm not sure. Something tells me there is a way. Yeah. 
but it's still very much deja vu this bit for me. Yeah, what's that say? National Trust, Public Bridal Path and Dolbury Warren. Look at that. It's a lovely view, isn't it? Let me take a picture. Right, I've, just, I've come through the gate. There is a path going up that way as well, but I don't know if it's just a circular. I just want to go down as far as that bush just to get an impression while I can, while there's a chance to. If I saw a cow now, I'd go straight back to the gate. But this must take you somewhere, don't you think? Will it take me back where I was? way up there. Probably. The hill fort of course will be over there quite a bit. Yeah. What I'm doing, I just want to go around this bend. Like I say, if there's a sign of a cow, we go back fast. I just want to see if there's a gate or anything down here. One can get stuck in the same route, you see. You could get stuck in the same route that you've done for ages. This might just be a big circular. Very big circular. Haha, here we go. Here we go, look. There might be a map and we can see what to what happens. This is what today's all about, by the way, exploring. Is it? Yeah. This is what it's all about today. It's a recce. It's easy just to go up the same route, sit on the top and then just come back again. Don't be worried. It just makes you wonder if this was the the fence I saw earlier, doesn't it? Was it? See what I mean? I could have been here before. I could have been here before. Let's have a look. The loop. You are here. Earlier I was back there, look. Or I might have been there. I'm not quite sure now. I ain't quite sure. I just got a feeling. Wait a minute. In this will link up this will link up with that path further along yeah right I'm just turn off a minute
Now when you... I'm just trying to think, you know. That gate looked familiar, but there was a much wider trench than what I've seen then. That might have been further down, that one. Sorry, we will explore again, don't worry. We've got plenty to do. We'll go down and walk around that track and we'll do it again. I just got to look out for cows because I ain't going to be in a field with a load of cows. So earlier I just popped down there, just have a look. And within where those trees are, that is what they call the loop that you do. This is a different area here um, to the loop. So I just want to see if there's a way out if you go along here. So I'm sort of keeping me on. I'm trying to find out all the ways in and out today. And uh, I can see somebody coming. Could be those people I met earlier. Could be, couldn't it? Don't know if they had white on. They had a dog. Right, turn off a minute. Just look round. Right, I just bumped into a young couple. I asked them if this take me up near the hill for it. They said yeah. And then they wanted to go back to Churchill. So I said there was a loop down there. Churchill's over there and they said you could do it. Uh, you just got to look out for the, t the right turn-ins. Ah, this seems good to me. God, I can smell food though. Hello, you're a lovely big ash. God, you've survived, haven't you? Look at you. You're one of the survivors. I've got to take a picture of you. Oh. I'm right back on again. Look at this beautiful ash. This is one that's probably going to survive. They could have gone that way, look. Beautiful. You're so beautiful. Hello. More people. More people. I can hear something coming. Is that? I can't quite see it. Where is it? it? Must be flying up through the valley low. Oh, there it is up there. Rescue. into people today. 